Welcome to Kage's Hara and Nate 2.0's Fixed Knife Show! This is where we'll show off all our fixed knife things. Fixed blades. Start off with, as usual, machetes! We have twin machetes, though his is the retarded cousin of mine. Yay! His is an off brand, and mine was given was my brother's, and I'm not sure where he bought it. But we know they're not the same brand, even though they look exactly the same. <laughs> we did tests. Yeah, we did. The screws are different. <laughs> the weight's different. I'm just joking. This the is weight, the weights, the sheets, and the screws are different. This is Ozark Trail. Don't know what that one is. I don't is. know what brand this is. It was my brother's. Next we'll do... Ozark Trail Hunting Knives. These are brothers. Yeah. We bought them at the exact same time at the exact same store. A Latino Walmart in northern Minnesota. Ah. Uh, and uh, they're cool. The grip's a little off. And, and I have to hold it like this the... for it to be comfortable. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's a valid hold. Uh, it's got, you know, your square serration there for who mm, knows why. Exactly. They got the insignia for uh, Ozark Trail. Ozark Trail. And uh, wood handle, it's got the uh, two clasps of wood instead of one solid piece of wood, which is something I use <laughs> when I make knives. Amateur. Sure. Um, I'll just start up next with my thing. awesome letter opener. This oh, thing is, I, as you've probably heard before, I got in Alaska. You and, don't need uh, to know if it's full tang or not because it doesn't matter. It's very pokey. All right. Just to get this out of the way... My Odyssey trench knife imitation fantasy blade. It's got, you know, it's a pretty good grip. It's got two pieces of, uh, of acrylic, I believe, screwed on there with uh, Phillips, which is uh, not normal. And this is this one's for you, Mike. <laughs> it's got, uh, it's, it's actually, I don't think it's stainless steel. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it doesn't feel like stainless steel. It doesn't have the weight. This is stainless steel, of course. Um, it's, it's kind of a conversation piece, but it's pretty cool. Next. Next up is the king of all fantasy knives, the Dragon Claw. If you've, you've probably already seen my review for these, and so you probably are waiting for the next knife. Uh, Buck Knife, my only Buck Knife. It's, um, you, you've probably seen Buck Knife designs before. This is the, uh, snub-nosed one. Buck Handle, of course. Um, very, very unnaturally sharp, as buck knives are known to be. It's, uh, stainless steel, or, I don't even, I don't know what grade it is. It doesn't actually say, because I, this is old, and it doesn't actually say on the blade. It probably said in a certificate. I don't know. Oh, I'll go okay. with this one. All right. Nickname my, blade of nickname death. the Santa Claus blade, just because that guy seems to remind of Santa Claus. Um... <clears throat> It is a showpiece, not meant to even be sharpened, but I defied all odds and sharpened it. It's got the weird funny ball thing at the end. Which and it's got I little like. snakes that, that, up there that appear to have human teeth. Yeah, we've, we've noticed that. That's weird. They've got human teeth. Once again, a decorative piece. Yeah. It's decorative something, pieces are interesting. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> ooh, ooh. The 1980s survival knife. The survivor. You have, you have to look up the commercial for this. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have it like featured on my profile. Put it link link in. Yeah, the I'm gonna I'm gonna probably link it. I actually have a review for this already, so you've probably already seen it. I hope. I think uh, this is my Tonto. I got it. Few, it's actually one of my first knives, actually, and for my first fixed blades. And uh, it, yeah, oh, it's yeah, it's it's got it's, it's Tonto. It's got lettering on it. Some we have, Chinese. We haven't bothered to figure out. I don't out what think it it's means. Japanese, but yeah, I think it's um, Chinese. So yeah, and, I got uh, that. It's full tang, right? Yeah, it is. Well, it's, yeah, it's got... Yeah, okay. I took um, it up. It did fall apart, so that's how I know. The ends <laughs> came off, but, you know, simple gluing. Always edit your knives if they don't meet your standards. These are my uh, old throwing knives that I don't like very much anymore because uh, they're very flat, don't have much weight to them. They're, they're pretty cool. You can spin them whoosh, like that. Uh, I threw these at a stump that I had set up for a target. I threw one, it bounced and missed me by about that much. Actually, you can get these off TC Edge, I forgot. I didn't buy these from TC Edge, but you can get them there. This this nylon wrap is kind of coming off, you have to glue it or something. Epoxy is always good for knives. This is my Winchester field dressing knife with a it's, it's, it's a good It's a good hunting knife. I love it. I have yet to cut open small animals or large animals for that matter with it, but I like it. This would be good for JJ Rambo. Yes, it would be. Johnny J, keep a man. <laughs> Now for our comedy knife of the day, uh, from the terrible, terrible, terrible TV show Naruto. 
Sorry, I can't do this without laughing. Saddest part is I I paid eight bucks. He for paid him. eight for I paid I, I bought him off of him for fifty cents. Okay, fifty cents. Uh, it's it's the the cool. <laughs> They're uh, they got ribbon. They have somewhat of a point. Um, actually, a friend of mine who works, well, friend, acquaintance of mine who works at the Little Bear. We were talking about these. He pulled some out of the box, brand new, and the tips were bent. So don't buy these. Yeah. Whatever you do. Please. Do not buy them. And if you watch Cartoon Network Naruto, buy them and stab yourself with them. <laughs> We're not mean. No, he'll be too bu they'll be too busy coloring. using coloring books. Yeah, okay, so that's what they do. This has been Kagazara. And Nate 2.0's <laughs> Fixed Knife Show.